Well, as the airline industry continues to face widespread issues, the spotlight Savannah is staying focused on Newark Airport for sure understandable is. reasons. This following another brief outage at its air traffic control facility this last week. Yeah, but less than 20 miles away from the airport, this is in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Gen Zers could become part of the solution. The Aviation Institute of Maintenance is training the next generation of technicians and not a moment too soon. NBC's Ali Vitali has the story. Look, we spend a lot of time, rightly, talking about shortages in air traffic control towers and then the close calls happening on tarmacs and in the skies because of them. But mechanics and technicians are also facing shortages, meaning more delays and cancellations for passengers. And that comes as Gen Z workers are increasingly looking to trade schools. It's at the intersection of those trends that we found this next story. Aviation's going through a rough patch, but you wouldn't know it here. This yeah. is where a lot of action takes place. The students at the Aviation Institute of Maintenance are some of the next generation of airline mechanics and technicians. I'm an avionics technician. I focus more on the electrical portion of the planes. Long story short, I'm, I'm a college dropout. A friend put AIM on Bianca's radar. You're literally learning how to fix planes day to day, and then you get a license, and then you can go work on any aircraft here in the States, and I was like, wow. Jason Pfaff, AIM CEO, sees that light bulb moment a lot. Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a, it's one of my favorite things. It's bolstered by a renewed spark in trade schools. Gen Z is very interested in ROI. They are very sensitive to debt, and increasingly, as they look at trade school, and as they look at a trade-oriented career, they are finding very compelling return on investment. Time and money, without putting any numbers yeah. or anything. Um, I would say my first year out of school, I doubled my investment than what I put into AIM as the program. Like 24-year-old Bianca, Gen Z are increasingly looking outside traditional four-year colleges, which saw a roughly 15% drop in enrollment from 2010 to 2021. Trade school enrollment, however, is ticking up. DeKylan Jordan, the campus director here in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, sees it firsthand. There's a shift in interest from high school students, you know, Gen Z now, and it's good for them to have those different options. They're also training for a world that badly needs them. Don't forget the interest of sitting on the stand for three weeks like that. Every day I see people retire, and there's really no technicians to fill those spots. Last year saw more demand for maintenance workers than workers themselves. That gap's projected to grow by 2027 to a more than 24% shortfall, at least a 43,000 worker shortage. If I'm a passenger sitting on a plane and the pilot comes on and says, we're waiting for someone to come de-ice us or we're waiting for someone to come and check a wing or whatever, like, that's y'all. Yes, yeah. I don't think people really realize what goes on behind the scenes because you have your car, let's say, and when your car breaks, you go take it to the mechanic. You know car mechanics exist, but when you get on a plane, you don't really think about it. Hey, like, what's going on behind the scenes to get this plane up and running? The behind the scenes front of mind lately. Increased delays, air traffic controller shortages, and nerve-wracking close calls at the height of summer travel, bringing aviation needs to the forefront. There's a heightened conversation and sense of awareness. Yes. They're thinking about things with respect to aviation that they used to take for granted. Mm -hmm. And that awareness, again, that spark, as they think about they could be part of that solution, we do hear that. Now a generational trend meeting the moment and taking off. You carved your own path. Yeah, I... <laughs> With a lot of with a lot of help at the end of the day. And for those who may have had their own light bulb moment watching that piece, what we're talking about here is a roughly two year program that prepares students for FAA accreditation in the field. AIM, for example, works with all the major U.S. airlines as a pipeline, but there's also opportunity to expand into drones and rockets as that part of the industry grows, creating both more demand, but also more opportunity here, too. Back to you. All right, Ali Vitali, thank you. Very, yeah. very cool. The future of aviation. We need it. Good hands. We need it. <laughs> that does it for this hour of morning news now. Stay with us, though. The news continues right now.